Where was all these people that when Francis Ngannou knocked down Fury? I got a lot of people that speaking right now talking about retirement, certain uh, conglomerates, promotional companies, uh, media companies, uh, same companies that sit around and uh, want people to interview with them, but then they'll disrespect them right after. So I see a lot of companies right now trying to build up certain fights for guys who just lost this year, guys who should have lost. My thing is this right here, though. Why is all this energy towards Deontay Wilder's decision win? I mean, a decision loss to uh, Joseph Parker. And where was y'all at when we were trying to figure out if Francis Ngannou won the fight against Fury? Where was y'all at when Francis Ngannou knocked down Fury and Fury was fighting for his life and he looked horrible? Where was y'all at? Did y'all hear all the excuses that they made after the fight with Fury and Ngannou? Oh, Fury had a bad camp. Oh, Fury had this. Oh, uh, uh, Anthony Joshua accused Fury of uh, 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 having a gimmick fight. You know what a gimmick fight is? That's that's called putting on a fake fight, y'all. So all little people who put bet money on Ngannou, Anthony Joshua talking about it was a gimmick fight. He talking about Francis Ngannou ain't really go out there and put on no real fight. So these the guys we listening to laughing about Wilder? The guy who got put down by Usyk? Who's supposed to be fighting at 200 pounds right now? That guy? Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's be real. Francis Ngannou ain't even get... Uh, people talking about Francis Ngannou going to knock out Wilder. Y'all didn't say nothing about Francis Ngannou uh, beating Fury. Everybody said, oh, well. They get in front of Francis Ngannou in, front of, in a uh, interview. Oh, I thought, I thought you won. I thought you won. You thought he won. So that means Fury lost his last fight, right? So why are we celebrating the guy or listening to what he's talking about? He lost to an MMA fighter. I'm not letting y'all off the hook with that. No way. I don't care who unfollow me. I'm not letting y'all off the hook with that, bro. I'm saying facts on this channel. I'm saying facts. I ran around all weekend with the M MMA fans talking about how Fury uh, didn't win a fight just off a of jab alone. And you got a whole bunch of boxing fans that run around. Oh, I feel like he did a good job in the fight. The same boxing fans that said Deontay Wilder looked terrible said Tyson Fury looked good in the Ngannou fight. So these are the people y'all going to retweet and do all this other stuff and support and send super chats and cash apps too. These are the people y'all supporting out here. And y'all wonder why y'all can't get a big fight done out here. Then, Bibble, I, I, I'm going to expose y'all. I'm going to say it in this video. Because I'm going I'm to say it later on. Because everybody ain't going to say what I'm going to say. Bivol looked the same way he did against Canelo. But with the zone riding Canelo nuts so hard, they sit up here and say, oh, Bivol looks bad and he just did the same old thing he did against Canelo. He got a victory. That shows that y'all hated against Bivol and that shows y'all hated against Wilder in the fights. And those were the only two fights that actually went 12 rounds. Everybody else didn't make it uh, to the end of the fight. How to fight one of the only fights that went 12 rounds get embarrassment put on put over whack y'all exposing yourself that's why a lot of these channels that putting up certain news and stuff y'all fans and stuff y'all don't want to follow that stuff bro who, who wants to follow that bro and this don't mean i don't like fury i don't like anthony joshua i'm gonna be real with y'all i was very happy that anthony joshua looked good yesterday because of people talking about his confidence and all the other stuff. I got tired of hearing that crap. As a man, bro, he's a man at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But but at the same time, and with uh, Daniel DeVoe talking about be, he, him being, uh, being a quitter. It's always a guy who looks like me that's always getting tested as far, called a quitter or stuff. And then Anthony Joshua runs back over there with the same people that were just talking about him. He ain't got no confidence. His confidence looks bad. And when her and someone said, I don't know why everybody's saying his confidence doesn't look bad. He looks like he's ready to fight. I said, me too. Who's all these people that's saying that, though, Eddie Hearn? Now you trying to run back over there with the same people that were just talking about your boy. Come on, man. Don't be a lame, dude. Then he talking about Eddie Hearn, the same guy that was just talking about Tyson Fury uh, a couple of months ago. Nobody wanted to say, you know what I noticed? Nobody wanted to talk about that Tyson Fury fight. The same people that's running around. You got ESPN talking about this wild fight. They ain't promoted. Uh, you got um, all kind of people talking about the wild uh going 12 rounds it's disgusting man Wilder needs to retire not because of his of what he's doing he needs to retire to get away from y'all y'all can have Francis Ngannou 
Please, please do it. Do what Francis Ngannou that Anthony Joshua hasn't done. Fight Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of guys around there hasn't even fought Tyson Fury. Joseph Parker and oh, and Fury helped me. I know he has helped you because you ain't trying to fight him. Y'all some lames. I'd rather be on the side where Wilder is in a, or in Gano because they're they're the type of guys they fought Fury already and want to fight him again. All of y'all, y'all want to be friends and stuff. Y'all countrymen over there, y'all can have that stuff. That's corny, man. You got people running around. Francis Ngannou, he'll drop Wilder. Did Francis Ngannou win his last fight? No, he ain't win. Oh, man, all right, man. I ain't try, I'm ain't i not trying to hear nothing you talking about. You said he ain't win his last fight, but he he went out there and dropped that guy? And Wilder would have got dropped in this fight, bro. We would have never heard the end of it. Fury got dropped by an MMA guy. Nobody wants to talk about it no more. Oh, we're on the Usyk. We're moving on the Usyk. We're moving on the Usyk. You moving on the Usyk? Where was all y'all at when Francis Ngannou got dropped? Why are we acting like that didn't happen? Why are we acting like uh, Anthony Joshua didn't lose all his belts to a cruiserweight? And had like four or five trainers in the last two or three years. Man, stop playing with me, man. Don't come, with, come for me with all that. You just let it. You just let an MMA guy outdo Usyk. Uh, y'all can put Wild on the list. All right, let's put Wild on the list. He outdid Wilder, Usyk, AJ, jo uh, Parker, all these guys. Let them fight Ngannou then. Ngannou could have fought this weekend. Hey, y'all trying to save him for Fury, man? Come on. I see what's going on, but that's all I got though. Like and subscribe.